During this tutorial film, we'll talk about working with memories. On the Smart Fade, a memory is what you might refer to as a queue or a preset. Basically, a collection of channel levels that you want to recall at a later time would be recorded as a memory. And I'll show you how to do it. It's really easy. Now, during the previous session, while working with channels, I actually brought up a, quite a number of faders, channel faders, here on my Virtual Smart Fade. I'm going to show you a quick way to clear all those off using the Virtual Smart Fade software. If you hold down the Control key on your keyboard and fade any slider down, the rest will clear out. Now, I'm sorry, there's no equivalent to that on the regular Smart Fade. You'll just have to use your hands. So let's create a memory. First, bring channels to the levels that you like for a particular look or moment in your play. I'll set up these levels. Now what we're going to do is use the recording section of the console over here where you see REC Mem, Record Memories. When I press Record Memories, you'll notice that the flash keys turn red and that in this case they're all blinking at me. On the LCD, it says Record Memory, page 1, Select Memory Bump. Now these bumps are flashing at me to show me that they're all available to be used as memories. What I'll do is choose memory 1 and then of course they'll revert back to their green channel state. Now I'll go ahead and record something for a memory 2. Here I'll use the control key to clear my channels. I'll bring up some different levels and I'll hit record memory again. Now this time you'll notice that uh, the first bump key is flashing in a light red. That's telling me it already has something recorded into it. And I can record over it by clicking on that key. Or I'll use position number two instead. So I've just recorded two memories. Now I can take the channel levels off stage and switch into memory mode. And that is here in the section labeled faders. You'll see these keys are connected together. When I hit memories, you'll notice that faders 1 and 2 show up light red. And now, by bringing up those faders, I bring up the memories, not the channels that they're assigned to, but the memories that have been recorded to them. And the flash keys will flash those memories. A brief word on using the clear function. You'll see the clear key in the lower center of the console. Anytime I go to record a memory, or actually most any function that requires more than one action, I can back out of that function using clear. So here I've hit record memory and I should be able to select a memory, but if I change my mind, I'll hit clear and you'll notice that it's blinking at me to let me know that I can use it in this situation. So once again, in just a couple of minutes, we've seen a new way to run a show on our smart page. We can record our channel levels to memories and then we can use in memory mode the different faders to run from scene to scene. So I can simply manually crossfade a new memory in and an old memory out, and the memories can correspond to the scenes in whatever production I might be running the lighting for. In this manner, you'll have either 24 or on the larger smart fade, 48 memories available at any given time. We've also added the function of memory pages. Now, when I hold down the memory key here, and I'll do that on my virtual smart fade by holding the control key on my keyboard and pressing that memory key. And now when I let off of it, you can see that it still appears to be held down. I see memory page 1, bump 1 through 12 to change. So there are 12 memory pages. And now I can bump to page 2, for instance, and now I have changed to memory page 2. I can see that by holding holding the memory button down again, that you'll see that it's on page 2. Now you'll notice that memory number 2 is blinking. The output of memory number 2 on page 1 is still on stage, and this is now telling me that once I bring this slider down, it will reset and load the memory that would be in it on page number 2. That function works similarly to the channel matching that we saw earlier. So 12 pages of memories means that on a 24 slider smart fade, I'll have 288 memories available. And on the larger 48 channel smart, slider, smart fade, I will have 576 memories available, enough to run most productions. 
So creating memories is easy, and once you've created them, the first thing you'll probably want to do is edit them or make changes to the channel levels that are in those memories. There's a key over here under Record Memory called Edit Memory. And what I can do is hit Edit Memory, select the memory I wish to edit. In this case, I'll use the active one. And now the console switches into channel mode. And what I can do is level match any of the channels that are already at a level. You see I took control of channel 2 there and raised it up. Or add new channel levels in. And then just hit Edit Memory again. And those are added in to the memory that I selected earlier. Now, when I hit Edit Memory, I went back into Memory Mode. And you'll notice that the bump button under number 2 here is blinking to tell me that it was used in channel mode and I now need to reset it so it'll be ready with its memory. So that was an example of editing a memory while it's outputting live to stage. But I can also edit a memory without it being live using the same function. Edit memory, select the bump key that I want to edit, now there's no output to the stage, but you'll notice the bar graph is showing me the levels that are in this memory, and the green LEDs, it's switched to channel mode, and those are showing me the proportional levels of that memory. So if I wanted to add number 9 in here, I would just bring it up to the level I wanted it to be at, and hit edit memory again. And now I've made the change to that memory without actually affecting the output on the stage. Now here's a quick tip on a more advanced function that might help you out from time to time. It's called undo. You'll notice that the undo key is lit in blue. And it's lit in blue whenever you can undo the last thing that you've done, including recording and editing functions. The last thing I did was edited memory 1, 2. So if I now press undo, it says undo memory 1, 2, continue. And if I'd like to undo that change, I can use the enter or menu key. If I'd like to back out of this function, I use the Home key. So if I hit Enter, I now undid the change that I made to that previous memory. Undo might help you out from time to time. Well, that gives you the basics of working with memories on the Smart Fade. And combined with the course on channels, you now have the fundamentals of creating and running a show in several different ways. In our next film, we'll be talking about sequences and later on, the stack, two more advanced functions that will allow you to enhance what you're able to do in any production.